All right, so Kodak Black have just released a first ever R&B slash rap infused concept album about love. Now nah, I'm just bullshitting you. This is this is pretty much the same old Kodak Black bullshit. But um yeah, let's me let me give you some background history of Kodak Black. You know, he he project baby, you know, he's Haitian, he's from Florida. He doesn't date dark skinned black women, you know, shit like that. You know, and you know, he came out with a few albums. All of them, in my personal opinion, are fucking garbage. But you know what? Hey, some people like him, you know. I kind of think that he's the personification of mumble rap. The physical, like, a mumble rap voodoo doll. You know, some, some shit like that. And, of course, this is his newest album. And, you know, he kind of, he kind of, like, uh, reuses songs on here, like Codeine Dreaming, which that was off his project baby 2 which was a pretty solid album i have to say you know kodak black i needed to mention that that album was not really that much trash but it had 20 plus tracks on it so it got a little bit nerving i need kodak black and ep uh and an EP or some shit like that so i can't take too much kodak black and shit like that you know how people put their nails on chalkboard and shit like that to make a obnoxious sound? Kodak Black sounds like a cat um, confusing a chalkboard with fucking yarn and just, and just scratching that stuff. It was pretty nerving and, you know, Heartbreak Kodak Black, you know, it kind of reminds me of 808 and Heartbreaks by Kanye West. Of course, with less magical production and pretty awe-inspiring lyrics, this is this is pretty shitty. All right, so running out of loving, um, this song is pretty garbage. He the only notable thing is he does this little skirt skirt thing. I don't I don't know if he's been listening to Little Yachty or something. And Kodak Black is one of those people who cannot sing. So what he does is he does this like double vocals. So I guess he think he could sing with that. But no, I get two obnoxious Kodak Black fucking voices and it gives my ears cancer, sadly. All right. So you have the second song, which is Bill and Jill, which Kodak Black says that he's shitting outside and that the Gucci makes him look like a zoo. And he's spreading gonorrhea for fucking real. He, he literally says something about spreading gonorrhea. And I was like, oh, oh, Lord, no. Ooh, Kodak Black, why? And the sad thing is, on a song like No Feelings, Kodak Black mentions that he's having sex without a condom, raw dogging it. So some bitch got gonorrhea right now. It's just disgusting. And on the next track, Love, he says that he's going to um, self-destroy himself because he's chasing after pussy. Okay, okay. And on the song, like, When Vultures, uh, Vultures Cry, which is pretty much what his record industry uh, or the record uh, label he works with, which has a lot of culture vultures, they cried when they heard this song because this is demo quality trash it's just horrible and to top that off we have february 14th which is the day of valentine's where kodak black says that he will straight up cheat on his wife so what a classy guy just what a classy guy man when he's not talking about cheating on his future wife and future ex-wife hopefully on a song like call you he's talking about putting on the orange ski mask like he's a pumpkin so yeah that's pretty pretty nice you know i could have made that reference when i was seven kodak but whatever you're the artist here and another thing on a song like Kicking In, he does this little in thing, like, uh, you know how he did the whole skeet skeet? He does this little in rhyme. It's very fucking annoying. And on a track before that, 
he says that he's on probation, but he still has to hold a strap, which is something pretty ironic because this guy is in jail because he had a fucking gun. And I'm pretty sure they'll use that as evidence to see why we need to lock this nigga up forever. So, hey, which is kind of ironic but Kodak Black doesn't believe in karma because on loyalty, he says he doesn't. So <laughs> funny how this guy talks about having a strap on probation. Then he gets arrested because he had a strap on pro, pro probation, probation, per fuck probation. See, this is what I get for being an asshole. <laughs> yeah. And could somebody please explain me why we need a track like I'm getting lonely when we already have a track like I hate being alone. I mean, just fucking redundant, man. And on a track like Acting Weird, Kodak Black definitely acts weird as he says he will put a bean in a girl's butt. Like, I don't know if that's a reference to his dick or something, but that's a horrible reference if... If that if it's that fucking small, but you know what? Speaking of small things on Kodak on coding dreaming, he says that he will put a nucleus on his pinky. Do you know how fucking microscopic a nucleus is like this guy have to be fucking Ant-Man for that to work? Come on, man. Anybody, anybody ever educated you about this? Oh, yeah. And on fuck with you. I don't know, Troy Abs, fucking just, the auto-tune was too much. It was just trash, man. And on a song like, Why You Always Gotta Go, Kodak Black does the, um, what you call it, offset thing, and he says to his girl, she's a queer, which is pretty odd thing to do but you know what the lgbt um community have selective outrage and they're not gonna go after this nigga he's already in jail i mean what the fuck can they do at this point and on the track before that he talks about how it's so lit that he broke a girl's heart like this is a this is a whole album about valentine's day and he's talking about breaking a girl's heart and how that could be lit I see he has no fucking loyalty. Yep, but what can I say more about this album? I mean, it's Kodak Whack. It's just fucking... He's just... He, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I'm a hater and this nigga in jail because maybe it will slow down his musical output. I'm saying he has a few lit songs, like that song he did with Triple X Tentacion... That shit was fire, but other than that, other than like Project Baby 2, which is a pretty good fucking solid tracks, if you take out a few, few um, songs, this is a, this, this guy's a horrible artist, and this is a horrible album, it's not even R&B, most of this, most of the time he doesn't really talk about love and shit like that, it's just something that the record industry put out to literally juice the guy more of cash. All of this is fucking horrible. Um, shit. I don't know. Fucking two. This, this shit. But, um, please like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, share the video. And that's all I have to say. Peace out, guys. Boop, 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 boop.